This is ABC 15 Mornings. Right now at 7.30, a terrifying afternoon inside a Colorado grocery store after a gunman began shooting at customers and employees. The new video from witnesses as that chaotic scene unfolded. Plus, the search for a local hero. Maybe you know this person. After a woman was carjacked over the weekend, her one-year-old child in that car, how a stranger helped them break free. Reaching underserved communities, today is the last day to get vaccinated at Harmon Park in South Phoenix. With the people leading this effort, they are on the move. We'll tell you where they're headed to next. All right, our Jamie Warren live there. But first, it is 730, and we have a live look outside on this Tuesday morning. It's cooler out there. We've even got a chance of rainfall today. We have details in that most accurate forecast coming up here in just a moment. Kicking off your five things you need to know this morning, Tuesday, March 23rd, major news on Arizona's vaccination front. If you're age 16 or older, you will be eligible for a COVID vaccine in our state. Appointments open up tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. The eligibility expansion is going into effect for vaccine sites run by the state, Maricopa County, and a lot of local pharmacies as well. A big milestone for the Navajo Nation, an area once considered a hot spot for the virus. The nation reporting zero zero deaths and zero new cases in its latest report. The Navajo Nation remains under a soft opening with 25% capacity for businesses. They've distributed 191,000 vaccines. Well, more COVID relief now on the way. A new batch of stimulus payments scheduled to land in bank accounts tomorrow. The IRS saying this next batch also includes a large number of mailed paper checks and those prepaid debit cards. It's unclear exactly how many payments are coming this time around, but the first round included about 90 million payments totaling more than $242 billion. And some of that next stimulus payment could be going toward a tank of gas, right? It's going to cost you north of $3 a gallon to fill up here in Arizona. Let's look at these latest numbers here from AAA. It's currently three eleven a gallon on average across the state. Maricopa County, the numbers are even higher than that at three fourteen a gallon. And as you can see, well above the national average, which is currently at $2.88. It is one of the most used words in the English, English language today. It is marks the 182nd anniversary of the word OK. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So here's a little <laughs> history for you. The word first appeared in the U.S. in print back in 1839 and was used by the Boston Morning Post to take a jab at a rival paper about a misspelling. Now the two-letter abbreviation, which is also interchangeable with it spelled out, O-K-A-Y, is now the most recognized word throughout the entire world with just as much meaning. There okay. Hey, do you do OK or O? K A Y. I do O K. Oh. An O and a K. Okay. See? Yeah. <laughs> maybe I maybe I need to spell it out. I don't know. Ah uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I just said it. So welcome back to ABC 15 Mornings on CW61 Arizona. I'm Justin Pizarro. Okay, and I'm Kaylee O'Kelly, and for Allison. <laughs> no, it does become one of those crutch words, though. It does. Okay. Yeah. See, <laughs> Megan, save us. <laughs> I should have counted in uh, how many times we both said it, all of you said it, and then I was thinking, what do I say and what do I hate the most? I hate when people respond K. Oh, yes. oh that bothers me. That just goes to show you just didn't care, you know? <laughs> you you the L in there. I need the full thing or I need at least an OK, all right? So this forecast is more than OK if you wanted some rain chances.